Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. We are going to run the Paragon Gauntlet for this month and uh, this month is pretty straightforward. The first fight is going to be against a Vox. Now there are quite a few nodes. The first one is Kinetic Transference. So if he hits you in the block, he is going to get power. And also there is consistent combo. So you have to use 5 hit combos all um, every time. Otherwise, if you finish off with a four hit combo and you swipe back there's going to be an unsteady debuff that will be applied on you and because of that for the next 10 next 10 seconds of your all of your damage and hits will be glanced and also there is bloody mess so you need a champion that has easy access to bleeds in my case it's venom you can also bring in wolverine uh, mole man also works you can also use blade all of those champion work just make sure to use private combo so you can avoid the unsteady debuff and always keep pushing walks to an sp2 is much easier to control and yeah you should be able to take this uh, fight down relatively easy i'm just dashing back to for the unsteady debuff to go away and then into another five hit combo into an sp1 and the bleeds are enough to take him out Next defender is going to be a Psycho Man. Now, he is all about that auto block. So, if you can control that, you can control the fight really nicely. The nodes here are going to be Dazed and Confused, Concussive Resonance, Third Law, Physical Burst Reflect, and Give Me Shelter. So, if you can find a, if you can find a counter to auto block, you don't need to worry about the Concussive Resonance. Uh, you won't be getting all of those concussion debuffs on you, reducing your ability accuracy by 20%. And the only thing you need to take care about is Dazed and Confused. So if you parry the opponent once and you parry again into 7 seconds, you are going to get a falter on you that is going to uh, make you miss. So some really good champions that work here are your natural auto block counters that are also part of your arcade games saga. So there is Angela. There's also Vox. Champions with undermine, uh, undermine buff, they really work. You can also use a Gore here. Also, uh, Odin will work really well. Gore can actually work for the first fight also because he has bleed. So, yeah, Gore can be a really great champion for the first two fights. And just like that, we are down to 33% with a nice heavy attack. I get some good damage. And yeah, I will end up the fight with an SP3. You control the auto block in this fight, the rest is pretty easy to deal with. I have left some other counters for you guys to check it out. So yeah, make sure to check it out and we'll see you on the next fight. Next fight is going to be after the choice node. Make sure you skip that. And the node is going to be Bub and Weave. Crit me baby one more time. Arrow to the knee. Cross counter and deadly precision. Now Valkyrie is going to evade all attacks. Unless you have a precision on you. So you might have to wait it out. So I just use a heavy attack and got precision. So now I don't have to worry. I am. She is not going to evade me. Once that is out of, uh, once that out of the way. There is also Bub and Weave. So I either need to... Uh, intercept her or have to dex her so her guaranteed crits are taken away once those are down then i just need to land some crits she will take extra damage with the crits and she will not take less uh 90 percent less damage from all the sources so it might be a little longer fight but venom is a critting machine so you can use any champion from the arcade games that has a higher crit rate or has guaranteed crits and they should work and then the node is cross counter, so whenever a defender will finish a special attack, there will be a timer on you. And you have to use a heavy attack within that, so you can remove the timer, otherwise you lose half of your health. So yeah, just take care about that and you should be good with this, uh, with this fight. Now moving on to the next one. 
it's going to be the overseer with clean sweep parry true lies and bane now the challenge for this fight is going to be the bane timer because the bane degen is quite a lot it's 2.5 percent of your current health as direct damage per second so the difficulty here would be with overseer throwing a special attack he is going to have an auto block chance and that is a pitfall for this fight so uh, you have to play slow and uh, use a champion that is immune to auto block or that can bypass it so somebody like angela or champions that have undermined buff so your gores your walks <clears throat> odin's all of those champions work and you just have to make sure that you do some good transfers of the bane so you can use your specials just like i am trying to do or you can also use your strikers to time everything i got lucky here because uh, overseer had an sp3 for the longest of time but i was able to bring him down quite a bit before uh, the bane transferred to me and i got hit by an sp3 And then we have another choice node so you are going to skip that choice node and move on to the next fight that is going to be against you one of the newer champions that is going to be beta ray bill now ideally you should bring in champions that are either immune to that are either immune to shock damage or they have a lot of buff control because beta ray bill really depends on shock damage and also buffs if you take one or both of them away you can do quite a bit of damage now i am just using in the venom and i'm just trying to yolo uh venom is just crazy at rank three he's gonna do all the damage i just have to uh, be careful about the sp ones evade that and the rest will be done by venom no it's beta rebel is not really a difficult defender to deal with you can pretty much bring in any champion and take him out but if you bring in shock immunes or you bring in champions like symbiote supreme who have a lot of buff control this fight will be much more easier but do look in the grand scheme of things like you have to do six fights with three champions to so make sure you make a good strategy for it then just like that <clears throat> beta rebuild is down and finally we are going to face enchantress now she is quite annoying if you haven't go gone through my first video in which i explain um, with the all bosses video in which I explain how she works um, check that out and then you can come back here so whenever the fight will start she will have three kind of uh, spells on her one is going to be the orange spell so you have to remove that to do some kind of damage to remove that you have to do an intercept that's what I'm trying to do here just there I got that and you uh, then you saw that the spell is gone again whenever she is going to throw a sp1 some of the spells will return now if there is a green spell that means that you have to punish her heavy attack so i just punish with an sp1 right here and then spell is removed and the purple one requires you to knock down now because at the end of the special that uh, uh, um, the defender is knocked down anyway so i remove two spells in one go so remember there are three spells one requires you to intercept that is the orange one one requires you to punish the heavy that is the green one and the third one is a purple one that requires you to knock down enchantress and you can remove that once you remove those spells it's okay for her to throw a special one or special two because she's not going to do much damage to you so it's very important to dispel those and whenever she will use an sp1 she's going to get some of those spells back so right now there's a green and a purple spell so i have to for the green spell uh well, for the green spell i have to punish the heavy just like that and knock down for the purple one thing here she is going to alternate between unstoppable and mischance so to deal with that there is a node that will help you all you need to do is to use a lot of parry every time you parry you're going to apply uh slow on uh, her and that's going to help you with the unstoppable and also with the the mischance so yeah so i hope this helps you and helps you fight enchantress and get this done for me um, just pick a really good champion for uh, enchantress a science champion with less buffs and for the remaining part you can pick somebody like gore vox or venom and they should be good thanks for watching see you on the next one